Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kostis and today I will be reacting and ranking the five acts that are competing to represent Germany at Junior Eurovision 2023. I've read that um, there is an online competition where the five acts that are competing will showcase a demo and based on that demo people and jury will vote to choose their favorite and then whichever song is chosen will be produced uh, as a full song so basically we don't have a full song we will only react to snippets snippets of demos which can be tricky because you never know if you don't listen to the full song you never know but you can we can only tell potential potential of the song but mostly we will see the charisma and the charm of the performer. So I will react to the video by ESC Silver. That's a YouTube channel that I follow and I really enjoy. And I will react to their video for their top five. But I will not judge their top five. I will just see the songs. And then I will give you my top five. Are we ready? We are ready. So dramatic. Stand up, stand up. We gotta wake up. This life is all we got. We're better together. Cause if we wave our flags of five, yeah, we got a chance to turn the okay. tide. Gotta wake up. No it's a ballad. A bit. It's a ballad. It was a bit uh, generic, I dare say. Uh, the performer, the kid, has charisma. It can be good. Also, we listen to the English part, but I know that uh, in Junior Eurovision you have to have like 70% in the na native language, so it will have German as well. Um, I'm not crazy about this song. Like, the, the little bit. The snippet that we've heard. Let's see the next. Okay. What did I feel about that? Uh, I liked that it's more R&B, the sound. So I preferred the sound than the first one. But again, I have to listen to the full song. It didn't convince me, really. Oh, sign language. Okay, first of all, I want to know what one vorte means. I'm sorry if I destroyed the pronunciation. This girl had charisma. I liked her. Uh, I like that she's using sign language. I don't know why is, th is this song talking about that. On the other hand, you don't need to. It's good. It's, it's very good that you incorporate something like that in your performance. The more inclusivity, the better. Let's see. Okay, um, it's cute, it's cute, like it was a cute song, it's cute that, uh, you know, a young boy is singing to a young girl. Um, I would like it to have something more than that, uh, but it's cute, you know, at that age you can fall in love and you will express it in a certain way and uh, yeah. 
Um, and uh, the, he had charisma as well. Yeah, okay, let's listen to the next one. Okay. Uh, I like that. It seems like uh, she has a very nice voice. It was a ballad. Again, it was a bit of a um, too early two thousands Eurovision ballad, which I'm not a big fan of. Like we've we've grown past that. So, let's try to put them in an order. Let's try to rank them. I will probably agree with the first lower positions of ESC Silver. I would say fifth place is Toby for me. Fourth place is Lenny. Adrian, I will put him in my third place. Rahel for me is in my second place and I choose for my first place Fia for both the inclusivity and uh, the song. It sounded better in my ears and uh, I really like your charm. I think she's charming. So what do you think? What's your ranking? Did you, did you get a better feel for the songs than me? Because the snippets are not good enough for me. Like, I need to listen to a full song to understand the full potential. Now, I'm a bit like... Uh, like, mostly a judge from the performers' charisma that they had on this video, the way they performed the song. And uh, the sign language won me. That's that's the, the thing that won me over, the sign language. What, what did win you over? Uh, let me know in the comments, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel and see you very soon at another video. Bye!